Hey YouTubers, this is Rob Muffet. Good morning. Guys, we're going to talk about the Kindle this week. This is my old Kindle that broke. So I purchased a new one on, or not a new one, I used one on eBay from a good seller for $24 shipping included. This was my original Kindle, had over 300 books on there, and it broke. And I was worried, because I'm a computer illiterate, I was, if I get another Kindle, how easy is it going to get to all the books onto my new one? And let me tell you, it was the simplest thing, it almost automatic. This new Kindle that I got used was $24 on, on eBay from a good seller. The darn folder uh, case will cost you $15 new if you go buy it. It's uh, Initially when these things came out about six years ago, it was over $300. Um, and like I said, this was $24. So if you've been thinking about a Kindle but didn't want to spend the money, look at a used one. You can you can get them really good. And not just these versions, I've seen the, the Kindle Paperwhite also pretty inexpensively. You don't have to spend full price. You, you can spend a few bucks and get something nice. If you don't like it, you get your money back. And I've been so happy with this because I was never able to sync my old one with the computer. This one, it synced automatically and it downloaded all of my books. And I was able to uh, add them one at a time, whichever ones I wanted, and make new folders because it has the alphanumeric keypad. It's easy to enter information. Um, I've just been real thrilled. Like I said, I was so happy that it synced right up to the computer and I was able to download everything easily and also if I want to shop in the Kindle store just for fun I did an experiment I bought a newspaper off of Kindle and it downloaded to my uh, Kindle automatically so this is if you don't have a Kindle this is something you want to think about if you do have a Kindle you're probably laughing at me because people are doing this for six or seven years but what I'm trying to get at is if you're on the fence if you don't have a Kindle you don't have to spend a lot of money and there's a lot of advantages. You can get books for free on Kindle. You get classics, but you can also get new books that authors have put out there. So uh, if they get a lot of readers, they hope to get a lot of reviews. So they give their books away for free. If you belong to a forum on a specific interest, a lot of times members will provide information about new books that are available that are being released for free, and you can put them on your book, on your Kindle. So think about uh, buying one of these for 20 bucks and getting yourself a Kindle you're you're gonna like it one of the the main reasons i did get a kindle is i didn't think i would like reading it on the kindle but because you can enlarge that the font so easily it makes it easier to read if you have trouble with your your glasses or reading as you get older so think about this guys you can get something for 20 bucks download hundreds of books for nothing and if you ever have to move you don't have to load them in boxes <laughs> you know what i'm saying that, that kills you when you get all those records and books they couple hundreds of pounds you got hundreds of books on, on this one Kindle. And like I said, it, it syncs easily. It was no problem. And they're all there. If you go to another Kindle, it'll still be there. You can download them. So think about that, guys. It might be something you want to look into. Um, hope this little video helps you guys. I put on new videos every week. I have over 400, a lot of different playlists. And I put on new stuff every week. So take care, guys. And uh, see you out there.